Hi, I'm Patrick Maliha for the new driver's seat. We're here at the 11th annual British Columbia Custom and Classic Car Show, where the cars are fast and the ladies are a little bit faster. <laughs> here with Rod Nielsen of Hot Rod Restos. Now, Rod, this is your 66 Mustang that you've customized and you souped up. Well, 66 Mustang is probably my favorite car in the world. I absolutely love the roof line on the car, and I just wanted to build the most extreme one that's ever been built. And how much uh, how much cash has gone into this car? Oh, I don't know if I should let that out on the air. It's upwards of a half million. Half a, half a, now, half a million dollars. So where do you get cash for something like that? You work 24-7. <laughs> so this is your true love? Yes, yes it is. It's a SVO uh, dry sump, 427 cubic inch small block. It has AFR uh, 225R race heads, pair of twin turbos. Uh, it's drive-by-wire, has traction control. Inside we've got a built-in PC. The entire body in interior of the car is all made of metal. The floors are candy-coated carbon fiber. There's a deal actually written on the car. The car will be sold. Um, so it's uh, something I'd love to keep, but I got other stuff to build. So I'm here with Grant in his 67 Ford Fairlane. I bought it when I was 17 years old. How much did that cost you? Uh, $700. And how much have you put into it? Do I have to say on camera? <laughs> My girlfriend might be listening. I don't know, to reproduce it, it's probably between eighty and 100000 How much? So Grant, tell me, so what do you have under the hood here? Uh, this is based on a 9.5 deck um, Motorsport Windsor block. It's 443 cubic inches, uh, 14 to 1 roller cam. Uh, it's really about all, lots of stuff that doesn't do anything but look good, but it's a fun car to drive. If you were granted one wish and you could have any car available, customized or otherwise, what car would that be? I really like the... Uh, I really like the new GT40s, actually. I'd really like one of those things. They're, uh, they're one of my faves. Well, Grant, we've got just the thing for you. It's, no, we don't have anything. <laughs> oh, so, <come> <laughs> Now, what is this again? That's a muffler. Okay. The muffler, the muffler, another muffler. That's muffler, muffler, the muffler, the muffler, the muffler, the muffler. So these are all mufflers. There you have it. I'm here with 2006 Miss Autorama, Jessica Renee. Jessica, what does it take to be the 2006 Miss Autorama? A great bikini. <laughs> A great bikini. So stay in school, kids. <laughs> Now, what's the thing that you love the most about doing the car shows? I love the people and just seeing like their motivation and what, you know, how motivated they are to make their car. So what's the one thing that irritates you the most about car shows? Interviews. Now this is your dragster. How long have you been drag racing for? 42 years. 42 years? And what's the top speed that uh, you've gotten up to in this? This one's gone 195 miles an hour now in 7.01 seconds. What's the longest you can drive a dragster? Because the fuel burns so quick and so hot, what's the longest you can drive one? Well, in a quarter mile, we burn two and a half gallons of fuel. So this only carries five gallons. We're not going very far. <laughs> This car used to race, but it's for show now. I raced this car 1969, 70, and 71 on the NHRA circuit and lots of match races and stuff up and down the West Coast and across the United States. It's been an exciting thing to get this back. The big craze started to get your old cars back, and uh, we had to do a lot of legwork to find it. It had seven other owners beside myself. Wow. We found it, nobody had heard it, they'd all taken good care of it. So we got it back and uh, completely restored it. As far as the beauty of the cars and the way they sound on the starting line. <laughs> these here, are just my hearts and knees, <laughs> they're really something. I, I quit racing in 1976, so I feel pretty blessed to be able to have done this. 
we did it through the best time. Like this car here, when it first started out, basically everything came from Detroit. Right. When I finished, everything came from aftermarket. So there you go, another wonderful day at the BC Custom and Classic Car Auto Show. Until next time, I'm Patrick Maliha for the new driver's seat.